G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with another Rye Bash tutorial video. So, we have Rye Bash ready to go, and we want to install some mods for our application. So in this case we're talking Skyrim, but this could be any of the programs that Rye Bash supports. How do we install mods quickly and easily? So first of all, you're going to want to click over here on the installer section. Yes, you want to enable the installer. And that will now scan all of the packages that are available. What we now, now can do is we can drag and drop over here and it will list out um, the applications, the, the mods that we are managing. So let's just grab this window and resize it over to this side of the screen. And let's grab our, um, our downloads. Um, I'm trying to think of a quick and easy mod that doesn't require any anything else. I think uh, cloaks and capes is a good one. So we right click, we drag it over here. Now it's going to ask you whether you want to move the file, copy the file, or cancel. Um, I never do move. I only ever do copy um, because I like to keep my files in my download folder. I'm also not sure if you are doing this on Linux, which this is not a Linux only tutorial, but if you are doing this on Linux, this might crash if you say move. So you wanna go copy. I always say don't show this in the future so I don't have to go and tell it to copy every time. It's gonna copy that file over here and now we see it at the top. This stuff here is actually an artifact on my screen. It's not actually supposed to be there. So we have one mod installed or one mod ready to install. Okay. Um, and in fact, let's just grab and put a whole heap of them in here. Uh, we don't need that one anymore. You can do this. You can just say, do a bunch of them and it'll go bloop and do them all for you. Right, so we have a whole bunch of mods ready to be installed. Now, the first thing to note is the colors. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that is green. It seems to think that that file might already be there. And it could be because I basically uninstalled all of these mods and uh, in preparation for running this. So that file is probably still there. Let's actually delete that for the moment so it doesn't confuse us. Right, the rest of them are white. I'm not sure why this one is white. There are no issues with it. Um, oh, those ones have sub packages. So any ones that are white, they potentially have sub packages which you will have to select during installation. Okay, so we'll look at one of those and we'll look at another one. Now, uh, the red means they're not installed yet. Okay, also the square means that they are an archive. They are a zip file of some sort. Now, from personal experience, what I have found is if I try and install the files when they are an archive, quite often they don't install everything properly. So my way of managing this and making sure everything works properly, we don't need to look at our files anymore, so let's just expand that out. My way of doing this is to take the, the mod that you want to install, so in this case, cloaks and capes, right click on it, come down to package and choose unpack to projects. What that will do is create a subfolder called cloaks and capes 2019. You can rename that to whatever you want. And so now you will have 
a project, which is a diamond, and the zip. Right, uh, click on the zip, right click, and go file, delete. Because ultimately, you don't want the zip files, you only wanna work from the projects. Because the, in my experience, the projects never fail to install properly, whereas the zips do. So I can now click on this, right click and go install. Bang, we're done. And you will notice that it is now a green diamond, indicating that it has been installed. Okay, and if we go over to our mods page, we can now see cloaks and capes here. It is green, exactly as we want it to be. It's ready to go. And we can just click on it and enable it, and it will work, okay? For one of these mods that requires some sub-package selection, um, you... To, before you do the install, so first of all, do the do the package, unpack to project, delete the square version, and then right click. Sorry, come down here. So cl click on it. Come down and select which of the sub packages you wish to use. So no greetings and. It is now a red uh, diamond, same as the other projects were before they were installed. And now you can go install. Well, it's gonna pop, it's popping up the FMOD installer anyway. And it's actually asking me to choose all this again. And there we go. It's a green diamond as well. It has been installed. We can come over to our mods, we can enable that, and we're done. Okay, so that's just really quickly on how to install mods. Now, just something to note. If after you install, or if after you've done a bunch of installs, you notice that some of the other files are no longer green, they have changed color. What it means is that there may have been some files overwritten by another mod, okay? Don't get too worried about that unless you notice things in that mod that has had the files overwritten no longer working properly, in which case you may need to manage, you may need to reinstall that mod to get it to work properly. But I'm going to talk in another video about managing the mods and making sure they play well together. So we'll come back and we'll do that in another video. For now, hopefully this has helped you a little quick tip on how you want to install your mods. Unpack them to projects first and then install them. Otherwise, they may fail to install correctly. Thanks a lot. Hope this helped. See you next time. Bye.